I'm here at the Skyway Pier, as you can see, and uh, getting ready to do some fishing. It's a nice day here. Um, I'm gonna check it out here first for a little bit, see what's going on, and then after that, I think I'm gonna head to Fort DeSoto Pier, see what's going on over there too, so stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe, tell a friend, tell a family member, and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish today. I'm, I'm trying to go for some mackerel. So we'll set up and see what happens. Um, once again, this is Fish Driven. Thank you, and uh, let's go get them. All right, so I'm out here fishing a little feather. See if we can go ahead and get a, a mackerel here. I know they're here. There's a, quite a few bait, but they're not on top. Let's see if we could get a macro. Ooh, I just got a good hit. Oh, dang it. I got sliced off. Look at that. Sliced off clean. Oh, technique that you can use. Sometimes it works. Depends on how hungry the fish are where you can uh, splice a little piece of wire like this on your on your line and so you won't get bit off by those sharp teeth that the Spanish mackerel have so I'm gonna go ahead and try again hopefully I can hook up and catch one this time so we're gonna go ahead and I'm using a these called they're called feather jigs um, this is a chartreuse green jig take a look at it it's the color um, we're gonna, so we're gonna go ahead and try and see what we can do we'll see if these are uh, these mackerel stay true so what's going on here but they've been cutting me off so we'll see if we can uh, get that taken care of Put a little wire on there just to help. Trim it up a little. And this is what we have. Got the wire here. Let's see if we'll get one this time. All right, let's see. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can hook up on one. fish are so smart. It's crazy. I can see them looking at it. They're coming up looking at it, but they're like, something is up with it. They won't eat it. But if I go ahead and take this wire off, it's all, it's all fun and game after that. So we'll see if we get one out there to take it. They refuse to bite it. That's crazy to me. They're refusing to, to hit the lure. Just because it has wire on it. It's 
So the concept that fish are dumb, it's it's stupid. Fish are very, very, very smart. Especially when it comes to feeding. Just a little blue runner. But we want that macro. Want that macro who keeps cutting me off. to go tie on a sibiki and uh, try to catch some bait. But just by just changing, putting on a little bit of uh, wire so they can't bite me off, they're not touching it. They're looking at it, but they're not touching it. Pretty sure I don't want to lose any of my lure. So that's why it's called fishing and not catching. Another little blue runner, nothing special. We want those big mackerels though. It's just ridiculous. So, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up. I'm gonna take the wire off. Not what I wanted to do, but they're not buying it. Let's see if we can take the wire off. And this is probably gonna be the last lure that I'm gonna use without the wire. I have 40 pound tests and they cut it, they sliced it off. I have 50, but that's on a kayak but this is 20 that I'm fishing with right now. So, it's just like, let's just try to see if we can get one before he cuts me off. And that's the name of the game. Get him before he gets you. But I know once this wire comes off, I 
I'm in trouble. So the wire is off. We're going back again to straight line. <sighs> Let's see if we can hook one up. I'm just gonna prove a point how smart these fish are. And as a fisherman, it's not easy. Right now I'm tying a loop knot. I'll show you a little bit more about a loop knot in another video. Alright, here we go. Hopefully we can catch one. He doesn't cut me off. I'll let, take a look. So no more wire, just straight line. Straight fluorocarbon. So we did get one on the jig. Uh, I was off camera, but uh, this is what we're looking at. A little Spanish mackerel here. Light. Hold them up for you. They gotta be 12 inches to keep in the state of Florida. He's he's about 12, but he's very small, so we're gonna let him go. Alright. Look at this, guys. I would never think I would catch a small sea robin as that, but that's a sea robin and a love bug. Another blue runner. This is like the perfect fish to carry out here for your little kids to catch. They're abundant and they just eat everything for the most part once you're schooling up. It's called a blue runner.
And they're great for bait offshore also. So we're here at the Fort DeSoto Pier. I'm actually leaving. Uh, fortunately, I didn't even get a chance to show you guys, but I did catch two keeper mackerels. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give them to my neighbor, John. Um, so this is a short video, but uh, next time I'll definitely come out here and be a little bit more prepared to record some stuff and show you guys. So I left the Skyway and now I'm at Fort DeSoto Pier. I didn't get a chance to set up the camera and anything because some people were playing music and stuff in the background and I didn't want to have any copyright infringement. So, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching Fish Driven.